Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Bella, your tour guide. We're doing a tour in Frederick Douglass today. Welcome to 524 South Dallas Street. You guys run this. It's an alley. These are the five road homes that Frederick Douglass constructed in 1892 for rental housing for the poor black African American community. As we keep going over here, because it showed Frederick Douglass' connection to the city of Bells Point, Baltimore, where he worked at the shipyard. Hey guys, I'm here sitting on the steps of Douglass Place 524. This is exactly where Douglas, Frederick Douglass had attended his Dallas Street Methodist Episcopalian Church while he was residing here in 1820 to 1838. As we come over here, you see that they have left the flag for Frederick Douglass because he's been such an influential part of slavery and abolishing slavery and yeah to honor Frederick Douglass because this is where he lived. Back to you, Roy. Go. Hi, I'm Sophia Ald and I'm sitting here today on Louisiana Street where me and my husband Hugh have just purchased our first house and our first slave. This is Frederick Douglass and I'm teaching him how to read. Looks they don't have this back at my old plantation. This is a C. C. It's like. <laughs> this is an A. A. It's like ah. 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 And this is a T. Like t t t t So when you put all three sounds together, it's cat. 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 Yes. Cat. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. They don't teach me this back at the plantation. Life is so much bigger than just work. Slavery, freedom, education is freedom. This is how I get free. This is where my world begins. I Excuse am human. Excuse me. What is going on here? I'm, I'm just. What is my... this? Sit down, slave. What is the meaning of this? Are you teaching a slave to read? Are you empowering the slave through education? It's just a slave. It knows nothing but work. Teaching it to read only empowers it. Turns it into a human. I don't ever want to see you doing this again. Go back to your room, slave. Go, go. I don't ever want to see you doing that again. A slave should not read. This was a look back at 1826 at the Ald House, where Mr. and Mrs. Ald for purchase, first purchased Frederick Douglass. There, it was Frederick Douglass's first real introduction to education, and it empowered his journey for, throughout his entire life to gain education and how were all the other slaves around him? This is where it started. Hey guys, welcome to the video blog. Right now, we just filmed two of our sections. Woo, woo, woo. Mr. Shibley is our tour guide, telling us about everything. The one and only Mr. Kimberly Anthony Shirley. <laughs> shipyard where Frederick Douglass found himself working as a caulker for many years. Let me take you through the journey of how he ended up here. After Mr. Douglass's first attempted escape from slavery, he found himself in prison with no hope left. But luckily for him, his former slave master, Mr. Hugh Ald, rescued him and sent him to work here as a caulker on the ship. This was his real first start to freedom. As he worked here, even being harassed by white workers who didn't want black men working with them, he still managed to persevere and he started to make money and gain respect around the area as a, one of the most skilled caulkers around. 
Hey, sir. Do you know anything about Frederick Douglass? Not really. Well, did you know that here at these shipyards is where Mr. Douglass finally found his attempt to freedom in New York? That's interesting. This is where it all began. It was the beginning of the end for Mr. Douglass. Hmm. Take a look. Stop. Daily oh, grind. Oh, wait. It's over here. Mr. Shibley's choice. Okay, I can get the... I'm Joy. Did you know that the month of February is also known as Black History Month? There are many, many monumental contributors to this month and our history, such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Frederick Douglass. Here at 28 Thames Street, Frederick Douglass purchased his first novel, The Colombian Orator, where it was a collection of many essays and poems. And with his book, he inspired to dig more into education and figure out more how to escape his slavery and have more captivated ideas about freedom. With this novel, without, I mean, I don't. without Frederick Douglass buying this novel, he would have never influenced our generations to stand up for what they believe in, to inspire and contribute more to our history every day with the reading and novels and anything. Reading contributes to our freedom in a voice. Frederick Douglass became an orator and because of this book we know his lives and we know his life and we know his speeches and the end. I know you see me reading here. I'm trying to read. These little boys are teaching me. Do I read good today? So what's your name? Teresa. And uh, do you know who Frederick Douglass is? Yes. What does Frederick Douglass mean to you? Um, I think he was someone that attained great stature as far as black history goes. He did a lot for the community. He's a very smart, very intelligent person. Um, so we happen to be standing over here in the classrooms where there is a museum dedicated him. There's a huge statue yeah. of him and everything, so it's nice to see that around. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> what does Frederick Douglass mean to me? Frederick Douglass means perseverance. Frederick Douglass means reaching for the stars. Frederick Douglass most importantly means using education to overcome whatever situation or circumstance you were born into. Frederick Douglass was at the lowest point in the human hierarchy but through education he used it to now be a symbolic figure with the museum and a whole city based around him. <laughs> Hello sir, what's your name? My name's Bradley Austin. Okay, and our question for you is, what does Frederick Douglass mean to you? Frederick Douglass, uh, of course, is probably the most important um, African-American leader and American leader of the 19th century. Uh, it's important because of his connections to Baltimore and uh, what he accomplished as a man, as a what he called a self-made man. He went from slavery to the pinnacle of uh, leadership uh, and influence uh, in the United States in the 19th century. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good. Born in 1818 in Talbot County, Maryland, Frederick Douglass, born in the worst of slave conditions, managed to persevere through education to become a nationally recognized abolitionist leader and political leader. He influenced and inspired many presidents and oral speakers to talk about freedom and education and its importance in America. He died February 20th, 1895. Frederick Douglass lived a long life.